Hey guys, welcome back to the channel tonight. We're gonna get some trim. Not my hair. The truck. So stay tuned. Okay, so we've made it back out to the shop here after supper and uh, the, one of the projects that we're gonna work on tonight is showing you the new trim that I got for Dale and it's new, uh, it's not new, it's old. Uh, but we're going to make it look like it belongs on this truck and uh, I'll show you what I did to get it cleaned up and how we're going to attach it to the side of Dale. Now the two pieces that I have are the long piece that goes along the side of the bed here and wraps around the corner as well as a bottom piece of trim for the tailgate. I've got them over here, let's go take a look. So these are the two pieces here, so you can see the long one is the box side, and I actually got a couple of pieces uh, from a fellow that I know, and uh, this is what the condition they were in when we picked them up. So you can see there's lots of staining, and one thing that uh, you'll also note is that it has the black stripe on the inside of the trim, which mine has the gold. And for those of you who don't know, 1977, on these C10 trucks was the only year that gold striping uh, was done on the trim. Every other year was black. So what we had to do was we had to clean these up. And as you can see, the pieces that I've already cleaned look uh, pretty good. They're still a little bit ratty, uh, but we're gonna make them look a lot better once they're on the truck and easier to work with. But all I did was I took some all-purpose cleaner we sprayed them down got the worst of the dirt off and then I took some classic wheel acid from one of our suppliers at Gap that stuff there works wonders on stains so basically I had to do no rubbing I sprayed it on and by the time I went to go get the hose and spray them off they looked a lot brighter than they did it got rid of it got rid of all the stains like this, the little rust stains that came from something else. There's only two pieces that are going on the truck, but I do have five different pieces all together uh, just because that's what he had and he was willing to give them to me. And 20 bucks is all I paid for everything. So uh, let's get it over to the truck and get started with how I'm gonna do the install. Now, as a lot of you guys know, I did a video back uh, before Christmas on how to remove the uh, body side moldings on the Chevy trucks. If you haven't seen that yet, I'm gonna put that right up here. And I'm gonna show you what this piece in particular is set up to be installed like. Um, and the way that we're going to attach it is gonna be a little bit different. So let's get to it. Each and every single one of these little flat spots used to have double-sided tape on it from the factory, which as you'll note, corresponds to where these spots are here all along the truck with three exceptions one is on the very end of the trim there's this little snap-in plug with a lock on it on the truck that is still there so I've removed this one from the trim and will utilize that once again to get the trim on back here there's the same sort of thing which will plug into the existing hole on the body. And then back here, there's a hole in the trim which corresponds with that screw and I'll remove that screw and reuse it to attach it on that back corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna relocate each of these little pads the whole way through so that they do not line up with this surface, but they line up with a clean surface on the paint which I will clean up with some brake cleaner so that there's no wax, no residue for that to stick to. And some of you are gonna ask, well, how are you gonna get it to stick? Because double-sided tape, you know, unlike the factory, generally doesn't stick well forever. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use some double-sided tape. However, we are also gonna utilize a little trick of the trade. Let's take a look. If you guys have never heard of shoe goo, I encourage you to get a tube of this stuff and keep it in your toolbox because you're gonna use it a lot. We use it for a lot of things like trim and other things, but the reason why we like this over clear silicone, because this is clear, 
is because when silicone dries, it hardens. Uh, does it, it almost hardens like rubber. This stuff here stays flexible. Why? Because it's shoe goo. It's meant to bond shoe soles back to your shoes so that you can wear them again um, and stay flexible. So if you ever have to remove it, this is going to be a heck of a lot easier to remove than using silicone. And body shop guys will tell you, never use silicone to attach trim panels to a vehicle. Um, Cause you'll never get paint to stick to it ever again. Anyways, we're gonna use a little bit of this, but we're also gonna use double-sided tape on those areas. So let's get the camera set up and uh, start with this install. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we gotta get a clean rag, some brake cleaner. We're gonna go down the center strip here and we're gonna clean off any residue that we have. Once we're done with the brake cleaner, I'm gonna go over it again with some isopropyl alcohol and just double check that there is nothing left there. We're gonna do the same to those pads and then we can go ahead and start sticking things together. So we're gonna do it to a little bit of music. Hope you stay tuned. Okay, so we've got the 3M double-sided tape laid down on each of the squares. Now, this thing is bowed quite a bit, so it's going to be sticking out more in some places than others. So we do have our tape to kind of make sure it stays in place. One of the things that we're going to do with the shoe goo is, for instance, in some of those places where it might be wowed out and it needs a little bit of extra adhesion, we're going to put a dab of that and use the tape to hold it in place and then once that tape sets up, we can pull it off and you'll never notice the difference. This piece back here is held in completely with shoe goo. And as you can see, it's not coming off there anytime soon. And that's gonna be the way we're gonna have to do the bottom piece down here as well. So let's get the red backing peeled off and get this thing put into place. Okay, so on a trial run before I hit record, I could not get the trim to fit inside the existing piece here. So because I had the piece that was on the trim, I'm gonna reuse that one. I just inserted it back into where it goes and then that way it should snap right into place. So we're gonna come back here and we're gonna put our snap into this hole first and then we'll go up there and we'll put it into the other end. That way it's being held in place. And then we can go in behind and apply some pressure to each of these spots where the double-sided tape is. Any, any spots that are problem areas, we will use the shoe goo and tape it on and make sure that it is in place. So let's go ahead and get those snapped into place and start the installation. Well, I think we lucked out. It seems to be sticking okay, and it's not popping out anywhere. But because I still have to drive this truck home tonight, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tape and I'm gonna overlap it the whole length, top and bottom, just to ensure that it sticks overnight. And uh, because this metal will get cold, we don't wanna worry about having it pop off or going down the road and it pops off. So we'll get some tape on that and make sure that it stays put. I'm beginning to like the green. No, but what we are going to have to do at some point is I'm going to come back here with some SOS pad and we're going to clean out the black that's on the inside of that trim and we'll have to come back and match up the uh, yellow or the gold uh, in that trim so that it matches the rest of it. I'm going to go back to the tailgate and do that one and then I'll be back to close out this video. And there you have it guys, we've got the back piece on and it's all taped up as well. And the side piece will be ready, hopefully by morning. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what we're gonna do to get rid of the black line and we'll substitute it with some uh, of the gold or mustard or whatever color they wanna call it. That'll be a separate video because there's a little bit more involved in that. But uh, that's done for now. That's one last thing we've got to worry about. 
And as far as the exterior goes, pretty much uh, I've got all the trim. Uh, we will have a wheel and tire video coming soon. As soon as the wheels show up, I'll make sure that I get video of that, uh, get them installed on the truck, and then give you guys a total unveiling with the new setup. I want to encourage everybody, if you don't know about the bumper to bumper challenge, one of our live feeds a couple weeks ago, and I'll put it right up here, explains it in detail, as well as all the rules will be in the description box down below. Check out Kip at America Bumper to Bumper. It's a YouTube channel. And uh, we're trying to get him up to a thousand subscribers and then some. And part of this challenge is for you to show off all the vehicles you've ever owned. Uh, and by doing that, you're gonna tag Kip. Uh, we're gonna make sure that uh, we share those videos and upload them all at the same time. Again, rules are down in the description box below. I hope you take the opportunity to check out Kip from America Bumper to Bumper and help get his channel up over a thousand subscribers. The Car Guy and Six Fan Show, we've only got one show left in season three and that'll be this Thursday on my channel. And uh, we will have a guest there as well, at least that's the plan. If not, we're gonna have one heck of a send off. So I hope you guys can tune in to the Car Guy and Six Fan Show with myself and Grant Tommy, who is straight six fan. And uh, we've been doing this now for three seasons. There will be a fourth and uh, it will start about mid-July. And we're gonna have a lot of fun with it as well. More guests, more games, more fun. And uh, it starts at seven o'clock central, eight Eastern and nine my time, Atlantic time. Uh, and it will, again, it will alternate each week between my channel and Straight Six Fan. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.